smell test. Oh, it's one of my nose. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Sorry Sam Beer Reviews, and today we are going to be reviewing Voodoo Ranger, which is from New Belgium Brewing Company out of Fort Collins, Colorado. They're an awesome brewing company, awesome beer, really, really good IPA, and they were on sale at Publix this, this month. So, you know, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. And uh, so I hope you guys all had a great Cinco de Mayo, or great and safe Cinco de Mayo, and a happy Mother's Day. And kick back, relax, and enjoy, and we're going to be reviewing. They have more flavors, and they're, they're just good. But anyway, <laughs> we have 1985's Voodoo Ranger IPA, Voodoo Ranger Hazy IPA, and then finally the Classic Voodoo Ranger. And we're going to see which one's the best today. I, I've tried, I think, all of them, but I've never had them side by side, so it'll be interesting to compare. And before we continue on, if you haven't already, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. And we'll jump right into it. Well, thank you, thank you. So the first one we're going to be trying today is the Voodoo Ranger Juicy Haze IPA. And this is just like their fruitier version of their normal Voodoo Ranger IPA. And again, starting off with the can, they always, they all have their little Voodoo Ranger guy on them, but this one's cool. He's got a nice little flowery jacket on it and stuff, and a cool little card. I love the designs they do on him. He's kind of like a, just a cool character. And this one comes in right at 7.5%. So it's, you know, definitely heavier on the alcoholic scale, but it's good. And I mean, again, Voodoo Ranger, they do such a good job with keeping their, I don't know, it's, they're always kind of smooth. Like, there's definitely hops to them because they are an IPA, so, but they're always smooth. Enough rambling. Hey, it's some on. A three, a two, a one. Oh, mama. Nice, and I think I fixed my fridge. They're not overly exploding on me now. But we'll see what it looks like. And do the smell. Ooh, nice and hazy. I like it. Nice yellow color, no, a little, definitely a little lighter than your normal IPA, but overall it looks like a pretty beer. We'll smell it. Not a breath, I just worked out, got him out of shape. Mm. Smells nice and fruity, very calming actually. Patches don't move. Patches is right under the table right here. You guys <laughs> won't be able to see it. Well, you'll see it in the little cutscene that when it just came up, but we'll give it a try. Ooh, very good. Very smooth. Um, can't put my finger on it, but definitely a fruitier flavor to it, which is nice. And it goes down so nice and easy. It's just a good, good, solid drinking beer. Um, so overall, I'm going to give this guy a... I want to give it... I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's really good, really easy to drink. You can throw him back, which makes him kind of dangerous. But at the same time, you get a nice... Like, the flavor really pops in the beginning and then it kind of trickles down right towards the end. Which is a very pleasant, very pleasant drinking beer. So cheers everybody, we'll move on to the next one. The next one we're going to be doing is Voodoo Ranger 1985, which I believe is their newest one actually. And I saw it at Publix and this kind of sparked my whole idea about it. And then Sam, who was with me, she works at Publix. Um, she was saying that they're all buy one, get one free, and I was like, wow, what a great way to make a video. So this one actually kind of sparked this whole idea to me. Plus the can's really cool. I love the whole 1985s thing. It always makes me think of, uh, well, I can't remember who sings it, and I probably shouldn't say it because it'll get demonetized anywhere. A anyways, but, um, so, yep, this is the can. <laughs> this one's 6.7%, so a little less alcohol average, alcohol percentage than the last one, but, um, I actually did end up trying this one yesterday, but it is really good, and we will pretend I did it. So, ASMR, three, two, one. Ooh, sorry, Patches, I felt her move. <laughs> I felt her move on the table. Okay, no nice carbonation. We'll pour it out, see what it looks like. Very similar to the last one, very light, kind of hazy to it. Oh, jeez, what kind of pour was that? Big old head on it, though. Um, and I believe this is their a limited edition one. I mean, normally if a beer does really good, they kind of 
keep it and bring it back because you know why, why take away a good thing that's making you money but nice solid head on it nice what i think it's a little darker than the last one but nice pale color to it smell test Oh, I went up my nose. All right, well, that'll go in the beginning of the video. Okay. It smells like hops. I'll try the other nostril now. <laughs> Gosh, always something. Um, smells very fruity, very, not, I don't want to say citrusy, but it smells fruity, kind of tropical, which is kind of, I guess, what this one's supposed to be meant to be. All right, now that I snorted it, let's see what it tastes like. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Ooh, oh, oh, yeah, like, like fine jazz. There's a little, you know, a little, it's, oh, it's smooth. It kind of takes you on a whole trip. There's a very strong presence of mango right in the beginning, which I like. I like mangoes, mangoes are good. Um, and normally, mango's kind of tough to do in a beer. Like the one, the only one I've really seen successfully do it is mango cart, which I did a video on, and I'll, I'll, I'll leave it right in the back. It was really good, it was like number six, Fave beer of 2019 or something like that. It was good. Uh, watch the video, you'll see. And <laughs> but as far as this beer, I like it a lot. It's really good. It, it rough start with going up my nose, but the tropicalness and mangoness, it's really. I mean, it, there's. I don't taste a lot of hop. So if you like the high percentage of IPAs and you're not a big hoppy person, this is a perfect beer for you because it goes down so easy. And Voodoo Ranger, again, New Belgium Brewing Company, they're doing an excellent job. If you are in Fort Collins, Colorado, please check them out. Super cool brewing company. Huge, they're like three buildings. They have a whole self-brewing tour, it's awesome. Um, I would give this, I, 9.5. I don't like giving perfect scores, but this is definitely a 9.5. It's very, very, very good. Um, yeah, last one. So the last one we're doing today is the OG, the original Voodoo Ranger IPA. Uh, it's got the classic, iconic, the Voodoo Ranger on it. Again, really cool concept and just a cool character. I'm really glad to see they found something, stuck with it, and worked well. I mean, they have a bunch of other really good beers, but this is definitely, I, in, at least in my personal opinion, their biggest one. Um, and it's really good, I mean, just for for what it is. But this one is 7%, so right in the middle of the three that we were doing today. And again, this was the very first one they pumped out on the line, and it's really good. When I tried it the first time, you know, I didn't, it wasn't my favorite IPA, but I was still like, I was like, wow, that's really good. That's a good IPA. And I think this came out right at my, my peak, and well, I don't want to say peak, but my my starting point of crap beer, which I did start on IP, I think, and I think that's where a lot of people start. But enough rambling around. Um, this one is made with mosaic and armorillo hops, I believe. So it's you know a couple different hops in there, and um, supposedly gives it a nice tropical, you know, fruity flavor. Whoop! Making me burpy. Hey, it's our final one. Sorry, Patches, you're gonna get scared again. Three, two, one. Oh, you did good, you didn't move. All right. Let's pour it out, see what this shit looks like. Just like the rest of them. This really was a good one. I think this was, I can't remember who gave me this, but I think this was an excellent birthday present. <laughs> I've used it many a time. Uh, nice golden color to it, a little darker than the last one. You can see pretty much through it. It's not very hazy, which is good. I mean, the haze kind of gives it a little, a little, a little bit more. There's a little bit more to it, but we'll smell it. Hopefully, this one doesn't go up my nose. Still got it up my nose, I think. <laughs> um, much plainer than the last two, but again, it is. This one's supposed to just be there. Their basic one, the one that started off. There's something in it, though. I hope that didn't come out of my nose. I don't know what that is. It looks like wood. What you miss? Um, anyways, cheers, everybody. Pinky's up. Ah, nice. Pleasant. Um, not a whole lot going on to it, but a very clean, easy-drinking IPA. There's no profound 
flavors that you can taste in it. There's not a whole, I mean, like it's, it's, I don't want to say it's bland, but it's, there's not much to it. There's, it's not very full body, but it is good. It is, again, if you're looking for a drink to drink, like a good IPA, I'd almost say if you want to start your world of IPAs, I would start with maybe a lighter one, but if you want to start with something a little heavier, this would be a good one because it's not very hoppy. There's not, you know, a big, like, boom, like some of them you're like, you know, there, <laughs> there's a whole lot to, like, Hop Secutioner um, by Terrarium, Terrarium, I think, or one of those brewing companies. Um, very hoppy beers. They're good, but they are very hoppy, so you got to be kind of ready for it and... I guess have and want that type of taste in your mouth. Um, but this, that being said, this one is very good. There's, I'll, you know, I'll give another sip. See, what it's, see if we can figure some now. There's some hops to it. Hello. God bless Amazon for all their packaging and always finding a way to interrupt my videos. <laughs> I'm always nervous when somebody knocks on the door and I have a camera. It's like, what are you? It's like, oh, what are you doing? It's like, oh, I, I, oh never mind. Uh, <laughs> but it is very good. It's kind of there is some fruitier aromas to it, but not a whole lot. It's very kind of a blander, a blander beer. But it is good. I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. A good beer, nice, easy drinking beer but nothing that really wows me. Um, at least at the last one. It's funny, because when I first had this, I was like, this is amazing! I can't believe this beer exists. But we'll put all three and uh, figure out which one we like best. Cheers. So those were the three Voodoo Rangers we had to try today. They were all really good. And um, if you have made it this far into the video, I, I really do appreciate it. View time, actually, I guess is very important. So, <laughs> And if you haven't and you're enjoying it, Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and, and feel free to tell, tell me what your favorite Voodoo Ranger is. What's your favorite IPA? I want to know. I like talking to you guys in the comments. It's actually really fun. Um, but without further ado, from order of best to worst, and, ooh, I did it again. Uh, <laughs> this is this is my, I, I actually really liked the 1985. It was surprisingly smooth. It was the lowest on the alcohol, but it was, it was delicious, and juicy haze, I, again, there was just more flavor to it. Like this one, the Voodoo Ranger was nice. It was nice and smooth, very easy to drink, but there just wasn't a, lot, a whole lot going on, in my opinion. Excuse me. Which is, and in a weird way, as even though the original, in, in my opinion, is the worst one, I think that's exciting because that means they're progressively getting better, so we'll have better beers to look forward to in the future, you know, instead of instead of vice versa, where they release something really good and then now all the other, you know, counterparts to it aren't, aren't as good. I think that's exciting. But with so ed editing magic, we'll, uh, oh, I gotta sneeze. Whew. Can't believe that got up there. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And uh, again, I hope you guys have a blessed day. God bless. Love you. Cheers. It's always sad to chug these things, but I'm glad I have more of them. So, down the hatch, pinkies up. Love you. Woo. Mm. Doesn't chug bad, which is nice. Woo. Well, see you, everybody.